And to begin with, uh, I have to say that uh, my English is so uh, rather limited. So please bear, me, bear with me. Thank you. So next, please. And this is the uh, outline of my presentation. Uh, mainly, uh, I'd like to talk about the studies, uh, on studies on protein separation by uh, the following uh, four uh, chromatographic modes: uh, size exclusion chromatography and uh, reverse phase chromatography, hydrophobic interaction chromatography, and uh, Ion exchange chromatography. So, next please. So, first, uh, oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the sources of protein heterogeneity uh, are classified into the following three uh, groups. The first is the post-translational modification, such as uh, phosphorylation and dephosphorylation, and glycosylation, lipidation, methylation, uh, acetylation, and uh, protein splicing. The second group is decomposition, such as uh, proteolysis and deamidation and oxidation. The last uh, is uh, other kind of uh, uh, heterogeneity, uh, including uh, artificial chemical modification, uh, like a regulation, and uh, conformational change and uh, aggregation by denaturation. So, um, monoclonal antibodies. Uh, are now widely uh, used for uh, therapeutic uh, treatment because uh, they are expected to, uh, expected to be more effective and less harmful than traditional chemotherapy. Uh, antibody uh, might display heterogeneity like other proteins, as I mentioned earlier, and that, that might undermine the, uh, uh, the uh, therapeutic efficacy, efficacy and uh, increase the risk of toxicity. Uh, therefore, uh, the evaluation of the heterogeneity is essential uh, during the development, stability testing, and in the quality control of the final products. Uh, oh, in this part, I'd like to show some examples of protein separation. The uh, first is uh, separation by SEC, uh, size exclusion chromatography. Uh, this slide shows the uh, uh, SEC chromatogram uh, of immunoglobulin with a um, uh, variety, uh, variety of molecular weights. Uh, sample and their uh, molecular weight are shown the, here. There. Uh, transferring and number four, transferring and number five, uh, human serum albumin, uh, the, uh, not immunoglobulin, but the, the, the uh, other major component of human serum. Uh, this chromatogram uh, was obtained with uh, TSK gel G3000 SWXL. Uh, in most cases, uh, G3000 SWXL uh, provides uh, good separation for uh, most proteins. Uh, the right figure uh, was uh, obtained with TSK gel G4000 SWXL. G4000 SWXL has a, a larger pore uh, than G3000 SWXL. Uh, so the uh, large protein uh, like uh, IgM uh, was uh, retained uh, on the G4000 SWXL. Therefore, uh, the, for analysis of uh, larger protein, uh, 
G4000 SWXL uh, is more recommended. Uh, here you find the, uh, the peak of uh, IgM and IgA. Oh, uh, sorry, IgA and IgG. And this, sh this showed uh, some uh, distortion in the, this uh, peak shape. Uh, uh, that implying uh, that uh, these antib antibodies were heterogeneous uh, due to the fact that they are uh, uh, polyclonal. Next, please. Uh, this picture presents the diagram of uh, IgG structure. Uh, IgG is a, a large protein with a molecular weight of uh, 150 uh, kilodalton. So, uh, in some application, uh, IgG is uh, digested uh, into small fragments by papain or pepsin. Uh, Papain digestion is uh, two FAB fragment and one uh, FC fragment. Um, and in contrast, uh, pepsin uh, digestion is uh, one uh, FAB fragment and in this case, uh, FC region is further digested into sub fragments. Uh, this slide presents the uh, time course of uh, digestion by uh, pepsin uh, and analyzed by uh, SCC column. And before the digestion, uh, only one peak, only one peak uh, of intact antibody uh, was detected, and uh, the digestion proceeded. Uh, the amount of uh, intact uh, form decreased and in, oh, in contrast uh, fab2 fab2 fragment increased uh, I'd like to present another example uh, this slide presents the time course of the digestion by uh, papain uh, the digestion proceeded the uh, intact, intact form uh, decreased and uh, FC fragment and uh, uh, FAB fragment were uh, increased. Uh, this slide uh, presents a separation of antibody, uh, antibody monomer and dimer. Here you find that uh, the baseline separation uh, was achieved uh, for monoma and dyma. As uh, we have seen, uh, ACC mode is available for the separation of uh, fragment or dyma. Uh, this species might uh, induce a toxic ef effect, a toxic side effect, so that the uh, determination uh, of them is essential for quality control of uh, therapeutic uh, antibodies. Uh, in this slide, uh, I'd like to present uh, three um, novel columns, especially designed for the analysis of antibody, named uh, uh, TSK gel Super SW MAP HTP and uh, TSK gel Super SW MAP HR uh, TSK gel ultra SW aggregate and these three columns. Uh, please keep in mind that uh, these columns are uh, prototypes and as yet uh, unreleased. Uh, these four figures illustrate the separation of uh, papain digested antibodies uh, analyzed by the uh, three noble columns and uh, conventional columns TSK gel G3000 SWXL. Uh, figure A shows that uh, separation by super SW map HTP. HTP means uh, high throughput. Uh, this is a semi micro short column with uh, 4.6 uh, 
uh, millimeter by uh, 15 centimeter. Uh, then this column is uh, packed with uh, 4 micron particles. Uh, using this column, uh, and, and dimer, monomer, and fragment, uh, these peaks uh, were separated uh, at the same uh, resolving power uh, to the uh, G3000 SWXL uh, in uh, half the analysis time. Uh, uh, next, uh, figure B shows the uh, separation by TSKGL Super SW map HR. HR means uh, high resolution. And this is a standard uh, long column with uh, 7.8 by uh, 30 nanometer. Uh, 30 centimeter. And the packing is the same as uh, Super SW MAV HTP. And this column uh, provided uh, higher resolution than the conventional column. And next uh, figures, uh, figure C shows the separation by ultra SW aggregate. Uh, this column is uh, packed with a uh, particle of the 3 micron and, and the pore size of uh, 30 nanometer. Uh, it is uh, designed for the separation of aggregate. Uh, this column has a, a larger molecular size, uh, larger molecular weight uh, exclusion limit, so uh, uh, compared to the other uh, three counts, uh, A, B, and D. So uh, concerning, uh, concerning this point, uh, I'd like to describe uh, more in the next slide. Uh, here, uh, figured on the left side, last ray, the separation of antibody, uh, including uh, monomer and dimer. Uh, that is by uh, ultra level aggregate, and the uh, right uh, right side is by G3000 SWXL, a, a conventional column. Uh, the lower uh, figure is uh, a magnified view of the chromatogram uh, showing uh, in the upper uh, figure. Uh, uh, this uh, area is magnified here. And uh, this uh, red line uh, red line is a calibration curve uh, for protein, in, uh, indicating the molecular weight of eluting species. Here you find that uh, ultra SW aggregate has a, a wider separation windows uh, and uh, higher resol uh, resolving power uh, uh, for uh, oligomer and aggregate. Uh, compared to the conventional column. Uh, I'd like to show the one more example for, uh, of uh, SEC separation. Uh, this slide illustrates the separation of uh, peg-conjugated uh, antibodies uh, prepared with uh, different uh, antibodies to peg uh, ratios. Uh, shown here. Uh, here you find that uh, um, um, monopegulated uh, species and dipegulated uh, species were separated from the intact antibodies shown the uh, right figure. So next uh, uh, I show the example of uh, reverse phased uh, separation. Uh, this slide shows the separation uh, for antibody uh, partially digested with papain. The left, slide, uh, left figure uh, illustrates the SEC, uh, side exclusion uh, separation. Hey, uh, here you find that uh, uh, intact form 
and partially uh, digested form and uh, completely uh, digested uh, form uh, were uh, separated uh, uh, on the basis of molecular sizes. Uh, each fraction of antibody fragment was collected and then applied to the uh, uh, RPC column uh, in the right figure. And the column named uh, TSK gel uh, protein C4300. And the, the column uh, is based on the 3 micron, uh, micron silicon gel uh, with a uh, butyl stationary phase. And the pore size of uh, 30 nanometer. Uh, that is designed for proteins and protein separation. Uh, the, the protein C4 300 is uh, scheduled to be released in the near future. Uh, here you find that the, the several peaks uh, well, uh, appeared in each uh, chromatogram, indicating that the uh, antibody used in this study uh, was heterogeneous in hydrophobicity, uh, although uh, molecular species in each peak was uh, not determined yet. Uh, I'd like to present another uh, study. Uh, uh, this slide uh, presents the analysis of two antibodies, IgGA and IgGB. Uh, each antibody was reduced with uh, uh, this thiol to dissociate into heavy chain and light chain, light chain and then applied to RPC column. Uh, here you see that uh, small differences uh, in hydrophobicity between IgGA and uh, IgGB. In addition, uh, chains, uh, two chains of IgGB were eluted as a broad peak with sh shoulder, indicating, uh, indicating that IgGB was heterogeneous and uh, containing a hydrophilic variant. Uh, next, uh, I'd like to show the separation of peg conjugated uh, proteins by RPC column. In the left figure, uh, peg conjugated lysidine was separated by uh, SEC. Uh, depending on the molecular weight of peg uh, shown here, uh, or the number of peg chains. Uh, one peg and die peg were separated. And then uh, each SEC uh, fraction was applied to the uh, RTC column in the uh, right figure. And you find that uh, peg conjugated uh, species were uh, more strongly, uh, strongly retained by RPC. Uh, compared to the intact species. This data uh, mean that uh, pegylated protein uh, are also, uh, also separated by RPC as the uh, same as uh, SEC column. Next, uh, I'd like to sh uh, show the example of uh, HIC. HIC is uh, Hydro, uh, hydrophobic interaction chromatogram, uh, chromatography. Uh, this slide shows the separation of uh, deamidation uh, variant uh, by HIC. Uh, this study is cited from the, uh, these uh, references. Uh, the <coughs> sorry. Uh, three variants of uh, monoclonal antibody was digested uh, with papain and the separated by TSK gel butyl NPR column. Uh, this uh, butyl NPR column uh, is a HIC column we, uh, packed with 2.5 micron uh, non-porous uh, non uh, particles. 
the antibody uh, without uh, deamidation, uh, the lower uh, uh, chromatogram uh, was uh, separated into one fog peak and one FC peak. Uh, in contrast, uh, uh, antibody with uh, deamidation Resi uh, they are my uh, dated resin at position of 3O or 1O2 were separated into two fab peaks and one uh, FC peak. And here you find that uh, this butyl NPR column is able to separate uh, variant with a single uh, residue difference, indicating that. Uh, the deamidation uh, of a uh, single, uh, single uh, asparagine residue was uh, recognized by the butyl NPR column. Uh, I'd like to show the, uh, another uh, example of uh, separation by HIC. Uh, this slide shows the uh, separ uh, separation of methionine oxidized variants by, uh, by Hick. Uh, this study is cited from the, this uh, reference. Uh, antibody was oxidized with uh, tertial butyl hydroperoxide, uh, digested with papain, and then separated by uh, TSK gel butyl NPR column. Uh, oxidized antibody was uh, separated into um, oh, uh, one fog peak and three uh, FC peaks. Uh, another sequence analysis uh, revealed that uh, two methionine residues at the position of uh, 255 and 431 were uh, oxidized. Next, please. And, oh, next, please. Uh, finally, I'd like to uh, talk about uh, IEC, ion exchange chromatogram, chromatography. Uh, this chart illustrates the analysis of uh, five uh, commercially available uh, therapeutic antibody. Uh, the separation uh, was performed by TSK gel and uh, CM stat. This uh, CM stat column uh, is a, a weak tion, uh, cation exchange column packed with uh, seven micron and uh, non-porous uh, particles. Here you find that uh, all uh, all of uh, all of five analytes uh, were separated into the couple of uh, peaks. Uh, so, an um, uh, antibody E. This uh, antibody was uh, studied furthermore, uh, as shown in the next slide. Um, most antibodies uh, are known to be a mixture of uh, C-terminal lysine variants. In this slide, uh, the antibody E, uh, appeared in the previous slide, uh, was digested with uh, carboxy peptide uh, peptide B uh, to cleave C terminal lysine uh, residues and then uh, analyzed by CM stat column. The three peaks uh, of that in the uh, of that before digestion uh, converged into one uh, single peak. Uh, this result uh, indicates that uh, C terminal lysine variant was separated uh, by the same start column. Uh, lysine, is, uh, lysine is a positive, uh, positively charged minor acid, so uh, the uh, lys uh, lysine variants are separated by IUC depending on the number of ly uh, lysine residues. Uh, I'd like to sh uh, show another example of IC uh, separation. Uh, this figure illustrates the time course of isomeriz uh, isomerization uh, of uh, ribonuclease A under 
alkaline uh, condition uh, and analyzed by a uh, seam stop column uh, are the as the isomerization proceeded, uh, the intact form, uh, peak number three, uh, in, uh, decreased, and the two peaks, uh, the amidation variant, uh, peak one and peak, uh, peak two, increased. Uh, aspartic acid and isoaspartic acid were negatively charged. Although uh, aspartame is uh, elect uh, electrically neutral, therefore uh, the amidation variants uh, are eluted earlier than intact form. Uh, so here I, I'd like to conclude my presentation. Uh, in this seminar, uh, we uh, we have seen that. Uh, several studies uh, on protein separation by using uh, full chromato uh, chromato uh, chromatographic mode. First, I displayed the separation by a size exclusion chromatography uh, that is uh, applicable to the separation of antibody monomer, uh, monomer from dimer, dimer aggregates or uh, degradation products. Uh, on the basis of molecular size. Uh, I showed the three uh, noble uh, SEC column uh, that is uh, designed for the antibody separation. Uh, uh, this uh, three uh, column uh, exhibited improved separation, uh, separation performance for antibodies. The second, uh, I displayed uh, the separation studies by uh, uh, re uh, reverse phase chromatography. Uh, uh, this uh, RPC column uh, is uh, packed with uh, white pore C4 uh, material. Uh, this column uh, exhibited, uh, uh, exhibited uh, resolving power to detect uh, heterogen uh, heterogene uh, heterogeneity of uh, antibody fragments on the basis of hydrophobicity. Uh, SCC and RPC are also applicable to the evaluation of pegylated protein. Uh, in addition, uh, we have seen that uh, hydrophobic interaction chromatography and the uh, ion exchange chromatography uh, column uh, packed with uh, non-porous uh, particles. Uh, exhibited, uh, exi sorry, uh, exhibited uh, high resolution enough to distinguish a single residue difference in antibodies. Uh, I hope uh, this, presentation, uh, this presentation is useful for you. Uh, thank you very much for your attention.